yards, but they needed 67 for the TD. They were stopped on the one-yard line. Delgado and Harvin in the backfield. Crawford running the club. Plenty of time. He's going for home run. It is there. Touchdown. Greg Evers catching it. 46-yard TD pass. Crawford to Evers. See his stats against Texas A&I. Texas A&I was the favorite of that ball game. And Portland went in and beat him. Despite Johnny Bailey, who won the Harlem Hill Award again last night for the second consecutive year. Big gainer. He's going to go all the way. This is Tony Satter. What a great juke. It's just a matter of running it out right now. Tony Satter putting a big juke on Hardeman at about the 35-yard line to get a loose as he goes from the 40, making a 50-yard run. He has 70 yards on today. And over 1,000 yards on the season. Watch the effort here, first by Brian Owen. When you run the speed option, you wait and wait and wait, and when the defense commits, then you make the toss, and you let a guy like Satter use his athletic ability. Watch right here as he changes gears on Dominic Hardeman and cruises in for the touchdown. A 60-yard scamper with three minutes and eight seconds to go. Time out of the field again with a score. North Dakota State 14, Portland State 7. Third player to pick up more than 1,000 yards rushing in 1988. And he puts the Bison on top, 14 to 7 over Portland State. He was a high school All-American right in Fargo at South High School. Made some All-American moves on that carry in the football. And they've had good field position. for North Dakota State. Covered 81 yards in five plays. Satter getting credited for a 70-yard touchdown run because that's where the line of scrimmage began, even though Brian Owen really had about the first 10 yards of that touchdown run before he pitched it off. But with three minutes to go here in the first half, that's still a bushel basket of time for Chris Croft. A moment ago, he scored on one play from the line of scrimmage on a big pass. This time, the move goes up the middle to Delgado. Delgado gets just about four yards to the 50, and George Byers makes a stop. That's a seventh carry by Curtis Delgado this afternoon. But he's picked up 40 yards. He's averaging just about five and a half yards a carry. Second down, six coming up. Portland State with the football. Delgado and Harvin in the backfield. Corrigan and Evers are the wideouts. 2.23 left, first half. Naon was the tight end. They bring him down at the line of scrimmage. He just couldn't find an open man. As Doctor makes the stop. He made the opening stop of the ball game. Again, North Dakota State choosing to go with maximum coverage in their secondary as Portland State uses one of its timeouts. They still have two left. I think that's the strategy that Rocky Hager and his defensive coaches are leaning more towards, Ralph. You always worry about giving a quarterback too much time with not putting enough pressure on him, but I think they feel that they have to spend enough time putting pressure on the receivers in the secondary rather than the quarterback figuring that Crawford's just too strong to pick up the pressure and, and throw the quick uh, hot passes as coaches like to call them against the blitzes. I would have to agree with you but when he has a man who can get away and shake that defensive secondary he can flat put the ball on the money. Portland State 14 returning seniors and 16 returning to State with good yardage there on first down second and short. That is his fourth carry of the day he's picked up 21 yards. Second down, and about four yards to go for the first down. Zimdor again giving up the middle. This is C, Marty C, who goes across for the first down and gets it out near midfield. Talalamutu is a man who makes the stop. He's been on a lot of them today, as he was last year when this ball club played Troy State, and Troy State won the championship on this field. First down, 10 again for North Dakota. Satters into the game. Wide to the left side is Johnson. Satter is back there with C. Five-man front by Portland State. This is Satter. He's down to the 35, and that's where they finally drop him. 
He kept putting the jukes on them, but couldn't get away from Neprakowski. What elusiveness. Watch Tony Satter make about four different directional moves on this play. To his left, to his right. Now juke back this way. Try and get to the outside. And the big guy, Neprakowski, was able to run him down only because Satter had to wait for the traffic in front of him. That is the eighth first down of the ball game. The first down draw will leave it up now. Satter and Lloyd of the backfield behind Simdor. That was Lloyd. Lloyd getting it down near the 30-yard line. They'll mark it at the 31. A pickup of about four where Gamble makes the stop. Doug Lloyd has now carried the ball five times today, and he's picked up 25. Again, the key for the Portland State defense is that their men on the line of scrimmage, the four down linemen, have to neutralize that offensive line. If they are pushed off the ball and clog the lanes for their linebackers, North Dakota State's in business. Fretchman and Johnson are wideouts. Again, keep in mind that Simdorn has yet to put the ball in the air. And again, he does not as the give goes up the middle and great yardage by C as he gets the first down, number nine, and he's down to the 21-yard line. Again, they start out the second half just like they played the first, keeping the ball on the ground and grinding out the clock. And they're doing a lot of down blocking. They have the strength of the offense one way. Everybody blocks towards the strength, and the ball carrier runs back the opposite way, and Marty C, had he kept his balance, might have taken it the distance. C has now carried three times, picked up 23 yards, has picked up three 321 on the year. Again, Sundorn going up the middle. They get it to about the 16-yard line. A gain of nearly five yards is Tony Satter, who's having a big day. It was over 100 yards on that particular carry. 101, as a matter of fact. Going to be second down. When Mike Favor and Daryl Illikanen, the center and left guard, respectively, for North Dakota State, what a double team they put on Ina Talamotu. They crunched him. stats we give you this afternoon are right up to the second even for the year John Moody providing us with computerized stats this carry does not get the first down as they get inside the 15 down to about the 13 yard line they have to get to the 11 for the first down let's look at the matchup again of Mike Favor and Ina Talalamotu this time Talalamotu was able to slice inside and although he doesn't really make the tackle he clogged the lane up enough that Lloyd stumbled over Mike Favor and didn't get the first down yardage. Third down three. 11.21 to go. Third quarter of play. Tie game. Simdor has to struggle, but he does get it as he gets just um, a little more than enough for the first down. But it'll be 10th first down as Kevin Wolfel makes the stop along with Joe Rogers. So the drive stays alive, gets outside of the 10-yard line. It'll be first down and 10. They can get the first down without scoring. On their first touchdown drive, they used a lot of plays. They finally scored on the fourth down play. They're doing the same thing again. They've already run four minutes off of the clock. Chris Zendor. They spin, and it's touchdown again. Tony Satter. Tony Satter carrying for his second touchdown of the day. Picking up 10 yards officially on that. Gives him 112 for the game, his second TD. And North Dakota State still hasn't trailed in the ball game. Now for the first time they ran Satter on the inside power play. He made a great spin move around the six yard line and that was all it took. Kevin Bode attempt his third extra point of the day. The holder is Jeff Johnson. And the kick is good. There's time out of the field with a score. North Dakota State 21, Portland State 14. Kickoff and just marching it down the field. Using up four minutes and eight seconds of the clock and putting it into the end zone. With the man who did it, Tony Satter, he's talking back home. Dakota State Radio Network.